Hello everyone, Denise Carpenter from ReikiAssociates.com here and I have to apologize for being neglectful with my channel over June and into July. I don't know where those months went. I took um, more Reiki training in another lineage uh, from a teacher from a sensei from Japan uh, and the lineage is called uh, Komio Reikido. So I now have the Western training of Hawaii Takata and I have the Eastern training from uh, Sensei Yamamoto, and I have difficulty saying his name, so I apologize for that. So as all of that was happening within me, um, I have to say life just became a bit discombobulated, and I think I'm finally back on track again. So I guess the, the main thing I would like to talk about today is the difference between the Western philosophies of Reiki and the Eastern philosophies of Reiki. So in the West, that would be Hawaii Takata's teaching. It's mainly around the therapy aspects of Reiki, all the benefits, the how-to, um, all of those pieces. In the East, it's half and half. It's half therapy, but half um, a spiritual practice. So I would say that's the main difference between the two. The levels of teaching are pretty much the same. Level one's about the same, level two's about the same. Um, when we get into level three for the Eastern teaching, it's all about ethics. Uh, we touch on that in the master level in the West, but not in level three uh, in the West. And then the teacher aspects, I'm not even quite there yet. I won't be there for another year, but I'm at the level just below teacher. And it, again, it's all about attunements. It's about ethical practice and it's about a daily spiritual practice. So as I bring all of that into how the world is today and the energy of the collective today, I would say all happens in divine timing. And I am so grateful, so grateful. I was supposed to take that training in 2019. And because of all of the kind of the preliminary things around COVID and all the things that were happening with all of the, I don't want to call it, the information that was coming out about COVID, um, I didn't go in 2019. Um, and I'm really glad that I didn't because the blessings that came to me during COVID, if I can say it that way, which were more about opening on a spiritual level and really digging in and digging in and then digging in some more and starting to really understand that the elder world is reflecting my inner world and then going in and healing those pieces of my inner world that are showing up. So all of that happened for me over COVID and uh, continues to happen. And then I step into this training from the from um, Japan, from the East, and wow, it just exploded it even more. So my message for today is if you are struggling, with the outer world as it is today. If you're finding it's causing anxiety, it's causing you to rethink things, it's causing you to interpret the outer world through a place of fear, just do two things. First of all, just look at that and then bring that back to you. And then just start loving, 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 loving that place of you that is in fear. So that's the first piece. And the second piece would be really start to put together a daily practice of some kind. It could be meditation, it could be self Reiki, it could be a walk in the forest, it could be sitting with your stones, sitting with essential oils, sitting, doing yoga, whatever ever works for you. So let's start really cultivating a daily spiritual practice so that we keep our own, the frequency of our own energy system, we keep it as high as we can. And let's really start working on what's reflected back to us from the outer world as part of our inner world and sit with the idea of just loving, loving, loving that part of us. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, thank you for joining me and I hope to get back to regular videos again. I'm sure I will now. Uh, Denise Carpenter from ReikiAssociates.com. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Have the best day you can make it. Namaste.